Okay, so the first step in using the scoop stretcher is to adjust the strength, the stretcher length to the patient by turning the lock pegs. And after you slide it to the required length, then you want to lock them in place. The next step is to unlock the stretcher to separate it into the two halves at the top end and the bottom end. Then after this step, you want to make sure that the patient is lying supine or on their back so you can scoop the stretcher under them. And you want to make sure that their arms are always crossed. After that, you place the stretcher on both sides of the patient. And then you want to gently lift the patient or roll the patient toward one side and scoop the stretcher gently under the patient. And then you can roll them back. After that, you want to lock the scoop stretcher in place again at the foot end and at the head end. And you want to make sure that the patient doesn't get caught in it, like their hair or any clothing gets caught in the stretcher. Okay, and then after you do that, you're going to want to lift the scoop stretcher by the end carry method. So you want to have one person at the head end and one person at the foot end and lift. And then you're going to gently place the stretcher onto the ambulance. And that's it.